this video is about the latest Cork project that was inspired by a visit that we made to Paradise, where one of the funky old gift shops we saw a Cork birdhouse. It was kind of crudely made, and Karen looked at it and thought she could do a better job. So since then, she's made a couple of Cork projects. The first one was the Shaw Chalet, with a whole bunch of corks that we bought on eBay from the Trader Joe's wine collection. And the second project after that was the Mirrorball Gazebo. They just kept getting more sophisticated as we went on. So this last project, I'm going to let Karen introduce this for us. It's going to be called The Old Cork Mill. So now we're up to the present time and Karen will introduce what's going to be her final cork project. Well, hello there. We have a story to tell from a vacation that we took in May 2018. There's been a lot of things happened since then, including craft projects, an inspiration from an item that we saw in Paradise, California. There's been two others and just finished the last one. Uh, not a maybe, it is done. The rest of the corks are gone. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, it's a long project. I took a lot of doodling. Uh, I've got all my notes and um, goodness, what can I tell you? A lot of Plan A, Plan B uh, along the way and trying to figure out what looks best. There are some little items that make the scene come alive and hope that you enjoy what you see as much as I have enjoyed putting it all together. Those of you who are wondering, did we drink all that wine? No. <laughs> um, it's interesting what you can find on eBay. So if you're interested in trying this craft, check it out. Karen's been working hard on this latest cork project of hers and it's called the Old Cork Mill. She spent a lot of time putting all the detail into it and I came along afterwards and took a few pictures and did some video. Collecting tree twigs were always part of our daily walk. Looking for specific shapes and sizes to fill the inside of the roof, picnic table, the water wheel, 
the handrail on the porch. The stained glass window above the door is a personal touch, matching from our own backyard. A clue about what you're to see. Tell me if you find the fishing pole and the fish. I will tell you right now, the fish are part of the wine corks. I chiseled them out and they went a-flying. Inspiration taken from the first core creation seen in Paradise, California, and leading to building of the Shaw Chalet and then the Mirabal Gazebo, Karen finished with her masterpiece, the Old Cork Mill. Somebody's liable to say, well, how long did it take for you to create all of this? My earliest notes and doodling and whatever are dated September 2020. So it's been a long time in the planning with a lot of plan A, plan B, and then construction and plan A and plan B. So it took a while. Collecting tree twigs were part of our daily walks. I was always looking for specific shapes and sizes to fill the inside of the roof, the water wheel, the picnic table, the rocking chair, and the handrail on the porch. The stained glass window above the door is a personal touch from our own backyard. 